Hallelujah. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. We give you glory and honor. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. Come on, somebody just wave your hands and worship him. I say covenant keeping God. There is no one like you. I am that I am, oh Lord. There is no one like you. Hallelujah. Covenant keeping God. There is no one like you. The beginning and the end. Oh Lord, there is no one like you. Hallelujah. Covenant keeping God. Alabusha. There is no one like you. I am that I am. Oh Lord, there is no one like you. Just open your mouth and worship him. Worship him. Glorify his name. Ah, thank the Lord for testimonies so far. I didn't know you will answer us this way. I didn't know you will answer us this way. I didn't know. You will answer us this way. You will answer us this way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank the Lord for answered prayer so far. Ah, come on, somebody go ahead. Thank the Lord for answered prayer. I said I didn't know you will favor us this way. Ah, I didn't know you will favor us this way. I didn't know you will favor us this way. You will favor us this way. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, the Lord has favored you in the name of Jesus. Ah, may his favor never, never, never depart from you. It's yet another day, day eight of of, of a new of a new thing in our midst seeking the face of the Lord for 14 days what an awesome God we serve uh, 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 it is a number of a new beginning and I decree and I declare that there shall be a resounding new testimony in your life that amen is not like he's born again come on let that amen come like fire I decree that a new beginning, Something new will happen in your life. Something new will take place in your destiny. In the name of Jesus, you are not a destitute here on earth. You are a destiny. You are a testimony going somewhere to happen. In the name of Jesus, a new thing has the Lord put in your heart. A new thing has the Lord done for you. What is new? The simple thing about new, new gives back to news. When you, God gives you gives you a, a, a new thing and adds it with an S behind it, it becomes a news. I prophesy over several persons in this platform that there shall be a news of breakthrough for you in the name of Jesus. A great day as the Lord has made for us. Praise God. Today I was hearing a testimony that got my ears turning. My God. Praise God. Could you imagine someone losing their, 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 his, um, his, uh, his social insurance after seven years? After seven years, someone called from some other place and said, I have your card here. After seven years, what a God of restoration. After seven years, you will hear testimonies this Sunday. I tell you the truth. Testimonies are rolling in. I heard this one, I said, my God, I had to pinch myself and say, after seven good years.
The brother said to me, he said, he said, and the lady called me and said, I just saw your card in my daughter's school, school, school bag. And I've been checking this particular bag for how long I've not seen this particular card. How come your card got into my, my God? I pray that may God send your, 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 your testimony with a transport. May God coordinate your testimony to come to you in the name of Jesus. What a restoration. Whatsoever you have lost many years ago, uh, we serve a God that have the capability and the ability to restate things that you have lost. I don't care what you have lost, but I decree this day that whatsoever you have lost in the past, may the Lord restore it back to you in sevenfold. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Shafaya. Shafaya. I tell you the truth. And that testimony alone filled my stomach. I tell you, my stomach started, everything about me, I started having joy in my spirit. Do you know what it means? That when you pray, God answers you. There are many, see, don't take it lightly. Don't take it lightly. There are many that have cried and have sought the face of God for 30 days, 90 days, 100 days. Yes! There has been no answer unto them. Is it because we are more righteous or more, or, 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 you know, good than them? No, it is just the mercy of God. It is mercy. The other day, the psalmist say, "His the steadfastness of the Lord are renewed every morning." Father, we give you praise. We give you all glory. We give you all adoration. Flip your Bible open to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter two. He says, when I said to us, pray, please, I beg you in the name of Jesus, pray. Deliver yourself, O ye Zion. Mm. This fasting and prayer is for you and I to fast and seek the face of our maker. Nobody is fasting for you. And nobody is praying for you at this point. That's why when the prayer point is called, if you close your mouth, you're on your own. When your mouth is shut, it simply means that you have decided to receive and to allow whatsoever that has been happening to you. Praise God. That's why I don't force people to pray. Neither do I force people to open their mouth and alter words. Whatsoever you say stands for you. When David came in contact with Goliath, it was his words against Goliath's words. It was the words of Goliath also against the words of David. Do not allow the, 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 the statements to end in the mouths of your enemies. In the name of Jesus. Always have something to say. Beat yourself and say from today I will have something to say. Hallelujah. Always have something to say. No matter how it is, have something to say. Because what you say is what God will, will, will place his hand of miracle and start moving. Whatsoever you decree here on earth, it simply means that you have a responsibility to decree. He said, whatsoever you allow here on earth, it simply means that you have a responsibility either, either to allow or disallow. And I said to you today that a closed mouth is a closed destiny. Silence simply means that you have affirmed it and let it be so. Deuteronomy chapter 2, verse 24. Say, so rise up, take your journey, and pass over the river of Anon. Behold, I have given into thy hand, see whole, the Amorites of Hishbon and his land. He said, begin to possess it. And contend with him in party. Hello? He said, contend with him in smiling. Contend with him with, with, uh, with some ice cream. Contend with him with some, with some burger. Contend with him with some, with some rice and chicken. No, he said, contend with him in battle. 
you have to learn to fight. Fighter is a survivor. Any man that has refused to fight will die a prey. If you refuse to pray, you will die as a prey in the hands of the enemies. I have refused myself to be a prey in the hands of the enemy. So I will not be a prey because I have decided to pray. My God, God was the one that said to the children of Israel, I have given you the land. At the same time, he said to them, but you will contend with the king of Sihu. One good thing in verse 25 that the Lord said there is a verse 25. He said, This day when I begin to put the dread of D, ah, Kabarada Gadade Abusha, I will put the dread of you and the fear of D upon the nations that are under the whole heaven. We shall hear report of thee and shall tremble and be in anguish because of thee. Listen. When somebody says, I'm afraid of you, uh, it's not because of your height. It's not because of your muscles. It's not because your face is fearful. No, the Lord has put the dread of you, of, 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 of them inside of you. The Lord has put the dread, the fear of your enemies inside of you. So each time they see you, they jump and scatter. Each time they see you, they take the windows. Each time they see you, they use their head and break the wall. I decree this day, from this day henceforth, may the fear of your may the fear of your enemies come upon you that each time they see you the Lord in the name of Jesus I will put the dread of you I, to tell you the truth I did pick up my Bible and start preaching and obey the call of the Lord over my life just to come and start acting like a true Two minutes and take up and, and, and cheese baked believer. No, I am not chicken around and I'm not joking. This is not a joke. Praise God, people of God. We are on a spiritual warfare. We are not on spiritual front end. This is not six flags. Praise God. And this is not this is not a merry-go-round activity. Prayer is necessity for everyday victory. That's why Jesus said, Man, ought to pray everywhere they go. So today it's time to pray. Somebody say it's time to pray. Can I hear you say it's time to pray in the name of Jesus? Now, 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 turn to your Bible, the book of Numbers, chapter 23. Numbers 23, verse 23. Let's 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 get down into business. Numbers 23, verse 23. Ah, this this is a blessed assurance you have inside of you. It says, surely there is no enchantment against Kevin. Put your name there. Because you have to speak with authority. Look into your scripture. It says, surely there is no enchantment against Kevin. Me. Moi. Marate Katosha. Neither is there any divination against Peter, myself, me, Kabo Shatabo. According to this time, there is a time. This time we are praying. There is no enchantment. There is no divination. Whatsoever enchantment and divination. Whosoever that is making enchantments against you, whosoever that is making divinations against you, in the name of Jesus, let your instrument catch fire. Open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer. Every divination, every enchantment against my person, against my success, in the name of Jesus, I command the activities to catch fire. I command the instrument of every divination against my ministry, against my calling in the name of Jesus, every demonic resistance from the pit of hell. What are you waiting for? Stumble and fall in the name of Jesus. I command your ways to be slippery. Shadagada. 
Ekuse kambrakati soteba ligata pragatea. No divination whatsoever the enemy has lifted up against you. Every enchantment that has been happening behind your back in the name of Jesus. I command them right now, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I pull down every stronghold, I pull down every divination, every enchantment, every evil tree that has been planted, every power that say you will not rise in the name of Jesus, every power in the bloodline, every power in your bloodline, every power, oh Lord Jehovah, naked devotion, I come Command them right now, dry up by fire. Liko to prakate get them get them get them get them get them get them. Zeske te ke te brako to se ke te prakate ya. Ja prakate pre ke te pre ke te ya. Ze te brako to sa ta prakate. Ze ka ta prakate get them pre ke te pre ke te. Ze ke te pre ke te zo to ko polosi ka dos. Ra ka ta prakate ri ke te brako dos. Ba li ke te brako se ke te prakate ya. Ze te brako se te 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 te. Every divination, every enchantment in the name of Jesus, every meeting, every gathering that is not of you, oh Lord, against my person, against my 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 my, my ministry, my family, in the name of Jesus, what are you waiting for? I command confusion in the in the camp of the enemies. I command confusion in the camp of my enemies. In the name of Jesus, I set a place. Every component that has been existing in the name of Jesus against my person. In the name of Jesus, I set the covenant ablaze. I set the covenant ablaze. I set the covenant ablaze in the name of Jesus. That amen is like you are not a warrior. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. When you see a particular bloodline or a particular parent going on in a family, every generation, every family, there is always someone that will die of cancer. Come on, man. This thing is a pattern in the blood, and you can survive it. Am I talking to somebody? Whenever you see a particular pattern going on, that every every generation, there is someone that will be struck with the powers of, of, of insanity. Come on, people of God. Don't just sit back and say, because the doctor said it's in my DNA. You have the blood of Jesus inside of you. You are not supposed to go through that mess. In the name of Jesus, we are going to pray and say, Father, every evil in my bloodline, every evil in my DNA, in the name of Jesus, I command a total stop. I decree this day, may it be arrested. In the name of Jesus, my father will not die of cancer, and my mother die of cancer, and my brother die of cancer, and my self now is not cancerous. No, it shall not stand. Every evil decree against my generation, every evil decree against my, my lineage, in the name of Jesus, Jesus, I abrogate every covenant in the name of Jesus. I put to a stop every power that seeks to exist and exalt their head above the knowledge of God. In the name of Jesus, we pull them back. Come on, begin to pull that, pull that, pull that. Pull the strongholds, pull the strongholds. Rekete brakate kete, zata brakate, zuste prekete, zate kete kete, rakata brakoto saka kete, zopa kate kete kechista kete, zite kete kete kete, rakata brakate brakoto sha, rekete brosi kete brakate, eku zata braki se kete rekete, zite brakoto se Somebody fire. There are families I have prayed for, and I have seen some evil pattern playing out. In such a family, nobody goes beyond the age 40. Anyone that gets close to the age of 40, they will be dead. That is an evil under the heavens. 
And because men have decided to let it be, that's why these things keep repeating itself. We are going to pray. Every power of untimely death that is wovering around my family, in the name of Jesus, my head and my family's head, my children's head, the head of my spouse, will not answer to any untimely death. Our accident shall not be my portion. Begin to speak. Begin to pray. Open your mouth, child of God, and begin to alter words. What you say will stand. If you refuse to say something, your enemies will say things over you. In the name of Jesus, I refuse every spirit of untimely death. I refuse every power from the pit of hell. Ekita ruska padea, zete 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 ya, zapra gade roko zete zete zete, zebra kati brako shata braka te ya, zete zete roko do shada vale gade, zete 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 zete, zeta braka te braka te braka te braka te, zete da braka taba. Oh Lord, we come against every evil in the bloodline. In the name of Jesus, every enemy call on timely death. Oh, lake the bracket here. I command, oh Lord Jehovah, let your power arrest it. I arrest them by fire in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me. Hear me. The book of Psalms, chapter 2, verse 1. The book of Psalms, chapter 2, verse 1. We are praying today against every household wickedness to enemies. Psalms, chapter 2, verse 1. He said, why do the hidden rage and the people imagine a vain thing? <laughs> when someone looks at you, and start targeting you for no reason. That is an imagination. They have imagined a destructive thing against you. When someone look at you and behind you and beat their chest and say, over their dead body, will they ever see you rise? That is an evil imagination. When someone look at you and say to you behind your back that over my dead body, will this one ever graduate from school? That is an evil imagination. When someone look at you and beat their chest and say, over their dead body, will you recover from from that sickness that is an evil imagination we are going to pull them down every imagination every evil strongholds in the name of jesus will bring you down we command your activities be arrested by fire in the name of jesus every imagination in the form of friends in the form of family members in the name of jesus i command today that imagination catch fire Catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, be bound to ashes in the name of Jesus. Let the evil imagination come to an end in the name of Jesus. Every plot, every gathering that is not of God in the name of Jesus. Rekabosha in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 54, verse 15. Isaiah 54. It's not by battle, oh Lord. It's never by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Lega Bosha, Isaiah 54, verse number 15. 
Mm. Are you there? If you're there, say, believe in me, man. He said, behold, they shall surely gather together. <laughs> but not by me, said the Lord of hosts. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Let me tell you. <laughs> when I pray certain prayers, I don't, I don't, I don't act up like a sissy. Praise God. I pray out like a soldier. The Lord said, any gathering that is not of him, <laughs> any meeting that God did not authorize, if you are holding meeting against me, if you are, if you are gathering because of me, and God did not authorize you, he says, surely you will be scattered. Let He said, They shall fall for thy sake. We are going to pray. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, let every gathering that is gathered against me that is not authorized by you, let everyone involved, let them fall for my sake. Open your mouth and prophesy. Open your mouth and declare in the name of Jesus. Let them fall for my sake. Every garden in the office, every meeting, oh Lord, that has not been authorized, every meeting in the management that you, oh Lord, did not authorize in the name of Jesus. Let their ways be slippery. Let them fall and scatter. Let them fall for my sake. Le ke te proko tosa, le gaba le kata kate ya, zika ka proko shekete, le ke te kata praka kate ya, le kata proko shata praka de, le kata pro de pro do shada ba le kate, le ke te ke te ke te proko tos, le ke te praka de, le kata praka to shada ba le kate, le proko shekete te de, ma ke te kate 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 sha. Le braka toxi katabos, le kata braka ta braka de, le kata braku shata braka de, zete grege de grege de, nikro braka ta braka ta braka de, zuto brokotos, le kata braka tu shata bosa, le kata kata poto shata bosa. In the name of Jesus, still on the gathering. Still on the garden. Touch somebody if you are there with the company. Touch the person and say, still on this gathering. Uh, let me tell you something. Nobody can execute without a plan. And before an enemy will take you out, they have already mapped out their plan. We are going to pray still on this gathering in the book of Joshua. Mm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The book of Joshua. Joshua 23. Thank you, Lord. Joshua 23 and verse 10. Hey, La Kakabo Shata. From today, God will put the dread of you inside of your enemies. Hey, Badabalakadi. When they see you, they will take the other route. When they see you coming, they will take a flight. Verse 10, Joshua, Joshua 23, verse 10. Verse 10 says, one of you, one of you, one of you shall chase a thousand. For the Lord your God, he, he it is that fighteth for you as he had promised you. For the Lord your God. He said, you alone shall chase a thousand. For it is God, not you, that we fight. It is God that we fight for you. But when they see you, a thousand shall take a flight because of you. We are going to pray and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, we bring down your hand right now to begin to fight for us. Every mountain that has refused to remove, every mountain that has refused to be moved, in the name of Jesus, those mountains can be human beings also. In the name of Jesus, every stumbling block, every mountain that is standing before us, in the name of Jesus, we command them be removed by fire. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Pray, 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 pray child of God. Pray in the name of Jesus. Pray in the blood of Jesus. 
Ekete prakatosha, libra ta prakate, meka ta prakate, zeke te ke te prakate, zeka ta prakato segede, da brato soto prakatosha, reke te ke te prakatos, ene prakata prakatosha, leke te prake te prakatos, de brato sete de prakate jagabos, e de ke soto ko prakatosha, de ke broko seke ke te prakatos. Rita ta prakato sada kadosha, leke prate pratosha, e prakato sete te prakate, leko to sata prakate prokotos, e proto prokotos sakate, zeke te prakate, zeke ka palakate. Come on, pray. Let the mountains be destroyed. Let the mountains catch fire. Let the mountains be broken. In the name of Jesus, get the prosha. In Jesus, now we pray. Fire. Can I hear you decree fire in the camp of the enemies? Zechariah, the book of Zechariah, the book of Zechariah, still on this evil gathering, still on those that will not let you succeed, still on there, still on this matter. Ah, Lekata Bro Shatakada. Zechariah chapter 4. Zechariah chapter 4. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Zechariah 4 and verse 7. He said, Who? <laughs> Who are thou? Let me hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on there a little bit. Look at me. Look at me. Now, the mountain there that the law was speaking about is not a mountain literally. Because you cannot use the, the word who for a mountain. Am I communicating? Yeah, the correct word should be what is that mountain? But when you use the word who, you are talking about a personality, a human being. There is a mountain of, 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 you know, of hindrance, mountain of stumbling block that is standing on your way. And it's not a literal mountain, as you know mountain to be. These are human beings that are standing. We are going to pray. And to finish up that scripture, it says, Who art thou, O great mountain, before Kevin, thou shalt become a plain. Thou shalt become a plain. We are going to pray. I say, see, oh my God, I don't just know. A lot of stuff is going through my head right now. Listen, when a who is involved and a plane is involved, what do you think will be the result? When a who, a person, and the Bible is talking about making that person to be plain, when a person is laid down in state, what do you think that is? When you read scriptures, don't read them like newspapers. Don't read scriptures like you're reading the Bible from the back. Read it and have asked the Holy Spirit to give you understanding. It's talking about God sending those people that stand against you and block your way and sending them to six feet. This is scripture. Who is that mountain? That great mountain before Zerubbabel. He said, thou shall be made a plain. We are going to pray and say, Father, any mountain in form of a man, woman, boy, or girl that is resisting my shining, that is stopping my song, that is stopping my, 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 my upliftment, in the name of Jesus, we command them right now to be made a plain. We command them to be leveled by fire. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray that prayer. Let them be made a plain. In the name of Jesus, we resist every forces of darkness. We arrest them by fire. We arrest their activities. We arrest their powers. We arrest their, their, their plans. We arrest their imaginations. In the name of Jesus, we place a restraining order against every man, woman, 
that has vowed that we will not succeed. I place a restraining order against every power that has been assigned against me, my ministry, my family, my household, my members, in the name of Jesus. I place a restraining order in the name of Jesus. Proceed no more. You foul spirit, proceed no more. You personalities, proceed no more. You foul spirit from hell, proceed no more. Somebody shall fire. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Second Samuel chapter 15, verse 31. Second Samuel 15. Second Samuel chapter 15, verse 31. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And what told David saying? A token is among these conspirators. Brother Aitofer, Bishop Aitofer, Pastor Aitofer, Sister Aitofer, Uncle Aitofer, Auntie Aitofer is among the conspirators. David never said, Oh, let the Lord have his way. Uh -uh. Read your scriptures. And immediately David heard that Aitofer is. Among the conspirators, a part B of that scripture, the Bible says, and David said, and David said, not and the Lord said to David to say, and David said, Oh Lord, I pray thee, ah, may God answer your prayers. You are, you are not serious today, I tell you the truth. May God answer your prayers. And David prayed. And God answered David. What was the prayer of David? Oh Lord, turn the counsel of Ahitophel to foolishness. We are going to pray. Every conspirator, every conspiracy, and the, and the players, the game players in that conspiration against us, Every conspirators against our activities, every 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 conspiracy against us. That all oh Lord in the name of Jesus. Any gathering, because when people gather against you, the next thing is that they want to conspire against you. So we are going to pray. That is what the Lord said. That any gathering that is not of Him, because God will not sanction any gathering for men to gather to 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 plan and to fight you. God will not sanction any gathering for men to gather and conspire to destroy you. We are going to pray and say, Lord, every conspiracy behind my back that I don't know about in the open or in the secret, in the name of Jesus, expose them. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Pray that prayer like you mean it. In the name of Jesus, expose them. Turn their counsels to foolishness. Set confusion in their midst. In the name of Jesus, we command their activities to, to be drawn backwards. We command, oh Lord Jehovah, everything they do to come to naught. Likoto brakate, zete brakata posha, lekete brakete, lekete kete kaposha, leka brakatosha, lekete brakosa kaposha. In the name of Jesus, liko hoskita kaka de brakosha, e brata brata, lekata brakatosha, kata brakosha, lekete brakete kete 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 lekata brakados. Librosita da Bracados, Ate Bracodosa, Ate Bracodosa, Bracodos, E Brata Bracados, Sete de Degede, Rica da Bracados, Sita da Bracade, Ratos Sita da Bracade, Leta da Broco, Sete Brigade, Zide de Degede, Zotoco Procodos, let your plans fail, let your plans all of the twat, in the name of Jesus, Rekete Bracodos, Raka da Bracade. In Jesus' name we pray. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 10. 
Isaiah 8 verse 10. Forgive me, I am moving like the Holy Spirit is, is, is moving me. My God, this is wonderful. Isaiah 8. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, Lord. Isaiah 8 verse 10. It says, take counsel. Allah somebody, 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 somebody say, I'm switching gear. Come on, can you say it? Say, I am switching gear. Switch your gear up. Let's go up to verse 9. He said, Associate yourself. Are you seeing that association? You see that gathering. No man can do you evil if he or she does not have a support. There is an evil association against you and you. it is enough that you are silent. Silence is not accepted. You cannot be silent when there are evil associations against you. He said, associate yourselves, all ye people, and ye shall be broken in pieces. And give air, all ye of far countries. Guard yourselves, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Guard yourselves, and ye shall be broken in pieces. That's said, He said, take counsel together, and it shall come to naught. Take counsel together, and it shall come to naught. We are going to decree and say, Father, every evil counsel, Lord, we command them to come to zero. We command them to come to, to naught. We, we arrest every evil counsel against us. Every evil counsel, every gathering, every counsel that they have taken together against us in the name of Jesus, as you clap your hands, let confusion be noise in the camp of your enemies. In the name of Jesus, let confusion be noise in their midst. Let confusion be noise in their midst. Lord, set confusion in their midst. Set confusion in their midst. Every word they speak, may it not come to pass. In the name of Jesus. Hear me? There are believers also that operate like white witches. There are believers, I'm repeating myself, there are believers also that operate like white witches. How can a believer be praying midnight prayers against a fellow believer? That is witchcraft. Because the Bible never taught us to fight ourselves. The Bible said it so clear that a house that is against itself shall not stand. Oh, my dear brother, Shah. There are evil going on underneath, on and we are going to pray that God will expose them. Every activity, because they will speak words. Words are powerful. Words are like, are like bullets. When you release it, it doesn't return back. That's why the Lord said, I watch over my word to bring them to pass. They, 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 if you really want to know who a man is, Hear him when he speaks. The way he speaks, the kind of words that come out of him. Jesus said, "It's not, it's not the food you take in. It's not the curry goat and the and the chicken and the and the rice you eat that defies you. It is that that comes out of you. It is those words that come out of you. The Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, it said the mouth speaketh. So when you want to know who a man is, hear them when they speak. When you want to know what a man has for you, hear him when." he speaks in the secret so we are going to pray i say lord we arrest every negative word against us we arrest every negative instigations we command them to come to naught. 
when they pray against us, let their prayers become seen before God. Open your mouth and alter those prayers. We command every watch, every evil decree, every declaration from the pit of hell against our ministries, against our person, against the Dunamis fathers, against the ministers, in the name of Jesus, against the members, we command them to come to naught. Open your mouth and pray. Every decree against your family, every decree against your spouse, every evil declaration, every evil prophecy against you in the name of Jesus, bring it to naught. Arrest that prophecy. Turn it around right now. Make it to Plato Shakatea. Zete Brogodos. Make it to Plato Zete Brogodos. Sikata Plato Ekuda Plato Shakatea. Shata Plato Zete Brogodos. Shanda Plato Brogodos. Ekuda Plato Shakatea. Plato Shakatea. Plato Shakatea. Plato Shakatea. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The book of Psalms, Psalms 41, verse 9. Psalms 41, verse 9. My God. Is somebody feeling the fire here? Psalms 41, verse 9. This prayer, this, 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 the theme of this prayer, this fasting and prayer is called prayer quick. And when there is an earthquake, certain things that don't belong where they are will start falling out. Secrets will be unveiled. Restoration will take place. It simply means that God is shaking things and bringing them back to their original position. That's why I say to you that whatever you have lost, don't just forget about it. Uh, I hear the Lord say, I will restore unto you all the years and the days that the parables, the locusts has eaten. The caterpillars have scattered. I will restore back unto you. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter if, 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 if men perceive you to be righteous. For your righteousness is as a future rag before me, said the Lord of hosts. So therefore I will restore because it's in my nature to do good. Psalms 41 verse 9. Yeah, my own familiar friend, in whom I trusted, which did eat of my bread. Ah, God. Had lifted up his heel against me. My own familiar friend, which Eat of my bread. I gave you my own food to eat. Yet you have lifted up your feet against me. But thou, O Lord, be merciful unto me and raise me up that I may quiet them. That I may quiet them. Verse 10. That I may quiet them. We are going to pray. Every familiar friend that seeks to dip his hand or that dips his hand in the plate to eat with you and has returned back to betray you, ask that the Lord expose. Now, this, this prayer point is very... Hold on, hold on a second. This prayer point is very important. We are going to ask the Lord to expose because, you see, before you allow someone to eat with you, and dip his hand inside of the same plate with you. There should be some level of high velocity of trust. Am I communicating with somebody? There should be some high velocity of trust. That person is, is, is someone that plays the role of a friend that sticks closer than a brother. So, and there are some friends like that that you are operating with them with clear hearts. You are operating with them with genuine spirit, but they dip their hand in the food to eat with you, but they go behind to destroy you. We are going to pray. Father, in, before the end of this prayer summit, Lord, expose them wherever they are. 
Are they members of my family? Are they friends that are around me? Are they, are they, whosoever they are, colleagues, ministers, whosoever they are, Lord, expose them to me. Expose them anyhow. Expose them, oh Lord, in the way that you have chosen. According to your will, expose them. According to the scriptures, Lord, expose them. In the name of Jesus, open that your mouth and start praying. Open your mouth and pray. Let the Lord expose their activities. Expose the wickedness that exists behind the scene. In the name of Jesus, Father, expose the wickedness that exists behind the scene. In the name of Jesus, I place an embargo of limitation over every offended friend. I decree, oh Lord Jehovah, and I declare a total end to their reign in my life. I command a total end to their reign. In the name of Jesus, I command a total end to their activities. I command a total end to their plans. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I decree that no no more, oh Lord, shall betrayers come close to me. Lord, I decree that every betrayer Every friendly friend that comes close and pretends to be a friend, but goes behind all oh Lord to commit atrocities against me behind my back. Lord, I decree this day in the name of Jesus, expose their antics, expose their activities, expose them anyhow, expose them front and back, expose them everywhere in the name of Jesus, expose them, expose them. Lord, expose them. Expose their plans. Expose all they stand for. In the name of Jesus, expose everything they do. In the name of Jesus. The book of Psalms 141. Psalms 141. Adabosha. Psalms 141, verse 2. Let my prayer be set forth before thee as incense. And the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. We are going to say, Father, every prayer point we have raised, let it be set before you as incense. And as I lift my hands, O Lord, let this be a symbol of the evening sacrifice. Open your mouth and pray that prayer as your hands are up. Come on, open your mouth and pray that prayer. Zeta prakati zoto brogodosha. Thank you, Lord, for answered prayers. Ah, as my prayers, oh Lord, they bow before you, oh Lord, as incense. In the name of Jesus, I decree, oh Lord, Jehovah, as my hands are lifted up, oh Lord. Let this be, oh Lord, an evening sacrifice. Let this be, oh Lord, a thanksgiving. Lord, we thank you for answered prayers. We thank you for all you have done. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, O oh Lord, for the miracles and the testimonies that has been rolling in thus far. Thank you for the sustainers. Thank you for the recovery. Thank you for the good health. Thank you for answered prayers. We are not praying and hoping that you answer. No, we already know you have answered. In the name of Jesus, we know that you have answered because we are praying, O oh Lord Jehovah, in faith. We believe that everything we have asked Oh, Lord has been given. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you for that promotion. Thank you for that, for that conception. Thank you for that upliftment. Thank you for that recovery. Thank you for that job. Thank you, oh Lord, for that family. Thank you for that husband. Thank you for that wife. Thank you for that son. Thank you for that daughter. Thank you for that 
friend. Thank you for that sister. Thank you for that brother. Thank you for that minister. Thank you for that pastor. Thank you for that bishop. Thank you for that evangelist. Thank you for that apostle. Thank you, oh Lord, for all you have done. We say thank you. Let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name, we pray. Somebody say amen. That amen is not born again. Ah, uh, as my voice is roaring like this, like a lion, I decree that whosoever that will want to come and trouble you after this prayer summit, may heaven trouble your troublers in the name of Jesus. That amen is suffering from Kwasoko. Let that amen come like thunder. I decree from this day henceforth that every attack that you have experienced in the past has come to an end. In the name of Jesus, uh, you are the redeemed of the Lord. The Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Hey, scripture. Scripture, scripture, scripture. Let the redeemed of the Lord, not the hoping of the redeemed, not those that are hoping to be redeemed. He said, let the redeemed, the redeemed of the Lord say so. So we are not hoping to have answers. We have answers already. Hallelujah. Somebody bang your hands together as you give God all the praise. Wherever you are watching from Facebook, wherever, give God all the praise as, as we say, thank you, Jesus, for all that you have done for us. Let your name be glorified in the name of Jesus. It's time to give unto the Lord. Praise God. It's time to sow that barrel seed in your hand in the name of Jesus. Uh, 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 each time, each time, each time you, 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 you deposit a seed on the altar of prayers. Uh, uh, the other day, the Bible say when the angel that came to Samson's father and mother, when, when the angel spoke to them, they said to the angel, shall we offer unto thee? And who shall we offer unto? The angel said to them, let them offer a burnt offering unto the Lord. And the Bible said that when they killed the animal and offered the offering on the burnt altar, the Bible said the angel did wondrously and ascended with the smoke of the burnt offering to heaven. That is what happens after you finish praying. You lift up a sacrificial seed and say, Father, this is my sacrificial seed. Hallelujah, somebody. 